We begin with the Millennium Tower, new at 6 o'clock, San Francisco's Leaning Tower, the focal point of an hours-long hearing today. This comes after it was found that construction on the retrofit to help stop the tower from sinking and tilting was actually contributing to it, making it worse. KPI X5's Max Darrow joins us live. And Max, what did you learn from all this? During a virtual hearing City Hall hosted today, we learned that construction crews, engineers in the city emphasized that the towers are no imminent danger of falling over or having any kind of structural collapse or problems. The engineer, chief engineer, told us that, in fact, the tower can tilt a lot more than it actually is, but there's a city supervisor who's a little bit skeptical about that. The fix for San Francisco's leaning Millennium Tower under heavy scrutiny from city leaders during a Thursday hearing. Supervisor Aaron Peskin called for the hearing a few months ago when it was discovered that work on the voluntary retrofit, the perimeter pile upgrade designed to fix the towers sinking and tilting, was actually making the problem worse. Mr. Hamburger, do you think this building would have been better off without the fix? If we had not done the fix, the building would have settled and tilted as it currently has today in about four years. So the building would have been better off today, but it would not have been better off four years from now. Ron Hamburger is the lead engineer on the project. In my opinion, the fix has never been necessary from a structural perspective, from a safety perspective. Hamburger revealed the building is now tilting about nine and a half inches to the north and about 23 and a half inches to the west, but says that's not as dramatic as it sounds. He says they have new data that suggests the building can tolerate a lot more. We just recently completed an update of that evaluation in which we've looked at the building tilting as much as almost three feet to the north and almost 80 inches to the west. The question is, how does the building perform in a high magnitude seismic event, a big earthquake? Limited work on the tower's retrofit got the green light to continue last week after a test on a less disruptive construction method proved to work. During the hearing, Hamburger said engineers have increased their frequency of monitoring settlement and tilt. But after the hearing, Peskin told us he has more questions he wants answers to. I don't think that the building is in imminent danger. Uh, but I do think that the city has an obligation to plan for the long term. So, Max, is the retrofit work still going on right now? Liz, the work is still going on. Construction crews are working on a part of it that got the green light, but they're still mm -hmm. trying to reevaluate construction methods on another part of the retrofit. Uh, they will now also likely install fewer piles than they originally planned to. And though this hearing was a long one today, there will likely be another one in the beginning of the new year. Liz? Yeah, that's not the end of this. All right, Max, thank you.